Hello and welcome to another episode of the Cricket Company podcast. It's been a while, but once again we are very glad to be back and here to discuss a topic which is a fan favorite and I think all of us are really looking forward to the IPL auction. The Cricket Company podcast. Right, Tanvir, what are your thoughts about this time's auction? Yeah, definitely. Probably this is one auction which everyone is look for, looking forward to more than ever before. More so because of the reasons that probably this may be the last mega auction we are ever getting to see. And that in itself makes it makes the stakes much higher. So definitely looking forward to the auction. What are your views, Ishan, on this probably being the last mega auction? Right. I think this is along with being the last, there are two new teams as well. Uh, Ahmedabad and Lucknow and that just adds to the stake of the auction, right? Those two teams have to kind of build their brand identity in this auction and as reports are flying that they may not get another chance as uh, IPL wants teams to retain their core players. So it's going to be a very interesting auction. The strategies are going to be interesting because here you are probably investing for a longer period of time rather than just three years. So strategies are going to be interesting. Uh, what kind of players each team is going for, that is going to be interesting. Uh, so, let's let's talk about from an individual team perspective, right? All teams are kind of placed differently. Which teams do you think are placed the most uh, strongly at this point in time? Uh, I would say Mumbai and Delhi are probably the two teams which have done the best in retentions. When you talk about the Mumbai Indians, they have an opener in Rohit Sharma, opener and captain in Rohit. They have a good number, 3 or 4 in Surya Kumar Yadav. In an all-rounder at 5 or 6, they have Pollard. And now he started bowling also more. So, they can utilize that aspect. And the gun Indian pace bowler, the best you can get, Jaspreet Bumra. So, they are sorted in overall regard. And when you come to Delhi again, they have a good opener in Prithvi Shaw. They have a wicketkeeper and a solid Indian middle-order batsman in Rishabh Pant. They've retained the all-rounder in Aksar Patel. And again... Andrik Nokia is one of the best upcoming pace bowlers. So, they also have a core sorted. Which teams do you right. think, Ishan, on the other hand, are the weakest right now? I think, in my opinion, the worst retention ever made by any team in the history of IPL has been SRH. I mean, they have let go David Warner, who proved them wrong and turned out to be man of the tournament just two months after the IPL. They let go Rashid Khan, who is probably the best bowler in T20 and one of the best cricketers all round, right? And they've retained Kane Williamson, who is a good captain, is a good player of T20, but he's not someone who you can bank on as a long-term right. prospect. Plus, he's injury prone. And they've kept the two Indian youngsters in uh, Samad and uh, Umar, who's a pacer. But again, it's a very half-baked retention and they'll have to really go all out uh, with some outstanding strategies to be able to build a team. And I think just one above, uh, one level above SRH would be Punjab, who again let go of all their marquee players. They are left with again, uh, they left with Mayank, Ashdeep. Have they have? Do they have a third retention? No, no, that's it. That's it. These are the these are the only two retentions. So again, kind of uh, like nothing, nothing out there for Punjab. But as we all know, they have a history of absolutely going bonkers in the auction buying every single player that comes their way. So, it's going to be interesting to look at how they approach the auction. Uh, Tanvir, what do you think about teams like RCB? Now, RCB have RCB KKR. These two teams, uh, they will probably be looking at a captain in some form. And that is, again, going to be tricky because that is one player which you absolutely need, right? So, what do you think? Do you think RCB will stick with Maxi or they will go looking for another captain in the auction? So, probably as like, in my opinion, I would have probably gone in with Maxi because he has that experience. He's captain in the Big Bash and he came good for RC. And players like Maxi, the more confidence you give them, the better they perform. So, I would have probably gone in. But then again, you know, maybe they have the thing in mind because Maxi hasn't done well over periods in IPL. And what if it was a one-off season and it doesn't come good? Then they'll again have to look for another captain. So, maybe they might just go for an Indian captain. There are rumors that they might also look for David Warner. So, that could again be an interesting thing. We might just get to see Warner and Kohli opening as well. So, that could again be a big thing. So, for RCB, I think yeah, maybe a Warner or a Ayer, they might be looking for one of them. There are also reports of a Manish Pandey. Now, I'm not really sure how much that might go well. You want that player playing for RCB. 
I am openly stating I will stop supporting the franchise of Manish Pandey. Comes okay, comes a little fine. If he captains, sorry, boss. I mean, I'm being quite rude in that regard. Great player, Manish Pandey, but he is just not a player who will fit into the setup of RCB, right? If if Manish Pandey goes to a CSK yeah. and you want him to play at 150, 120, that is a role which he can do well. Right. But on on a on a flat uh, Chinnaswamy, you do not want the 60 or 50 from Manish Pandey. So no ways I want him captain at least. I mean, you never know. Actually, they might go for it. They've got the local connect. They've had him in his team in the yeah. team for I think a couple of years or maybe one year in 2010. So it could be a tricky one. Uh, what do you what do you think about Rajasthan and CSK? I mean, they've been kind of low key. CSK is like kind of. Settled, if you may so may say so, because Dhoni is there, Jadeja is there. They 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 are there's they are a team which looks to buy back their older players. So you might just see Faf, yeah. Dwayne, these guys all going back to CSK, and Rajasthan. Rajasthan are again like not absolutely in the shambles because they have a renowned player like Samson with them, but again not well placed either. Right? What do you think about Rajasthan? RR have retained Butler, Jaiswal, Samson. That's it, or have they retained a fourth? That's Karthik it. That's I think I think these three. These three. Yeah. No, I don't think they have retained Karthik Tagi. No, no yeah, yeah, these yeah. three. So again, RR they have gone in like a decent core. Like you have your top order batsman, but that's again a problem. They've only gone in with the batting. They have like a wicket keeper okay. in Samson or Butler, but again it's a top three. You're going top three heavy, and in an auction where you normally see a lot of players available are that category itself. The shortage lies in the other departments, and they don't have that covered at all. They don't have any all-rounder or any middle-order players as such, or no bowlers at all. So that could be a tricky thing. They will have to bid hard for players because they need a lot of things right now. But again, with RR, we normally they normally go for low-key players, so they don't find it that difficult to get their players. Correct, correct. I agree with you. And and then the new two new teams, Ahmedabad and Lucknow. I think both of them have been kind of at least Ahmedabad on paper looks like uh, interesting. Uh, Buys for them with Pandya being assigned captain. They've got Gill as well, and of course there's Rashid. Uh, Lucknow is a is a is a interesting one because they've gone in with the youngster Vishnoi. They've gone in with Stoinis, who's a good player, but he's not one which you would expect to be retained as such. Yeah. And then there's Rahul. But the good thing with Lucknow is the the opposite of Rajasthan. So they've got an opener, they've got an all rounder, and they've got a wrist spinner. So they've kind of covered all bases. Now it's Down to see how well they perform. So this is going to be an interesting auction. Twelfth and thirteenth Feb. I think all cricket fans, even even a lot of IPL fans who don't watch other forms of the game, yeah. but they will be completely glued to their screen. And uh, this could be the last time. So I think all of us are really hyped, right? Yeah, definitely. It's a very big day. Like you want your favorite players to come on your team, especially this time, because you know they may just stay forever after this. So yeah, it's a very big option for the teams as well, because more than just the team, they need right. to build their brand as well this time. Because this could be what they have going ahead. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. So looking forward to the auction. I think in the next part we can now, like you spoke about brand, in the second part we shall talk about individual players, uh, the players we are looking out for. Who could go as big buys, probably underdog buys as well. So thank you for joining in. It's been a long time. We put out, we've been putting out a video after a long time. But hope you enjoyed this short preview of the IPL mega auction. And we'll see you in the next part. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. The Cricket Company Podcast.